um, a dog skinned just miles from where the murders took place weeks before. So yeah, it was back in October. Um, impo impossible to say whether that's connected or not. Um, I'm sure, I don't know. Then again, I don't know that I have, they'd be able to go back and get DNA from all that to see if it was him, but. Call from. Eric. Joey. Hey, Joey, thanks for calling in. Hey, how are you? Um, love well. your uh, pot, uh, your show. I uh, oh, just started getting into it, and uh, love how you manage the animation, the, the humor with the seriousness. It's very good. Yeah, there's like a fine uh, line with that. It's like one of those things. It's obviously serious subjects, but you got to kind of lighten it up a little bit here and there, but thanks. Yeah, the, the sus bus it rules. <laughs> Great. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, two points I wanted to make. One is... Um, I understand why people are uh, really jumping on the BTK thing, associating him so closely with the BTK uh, murder just because his because of his professor, uh, who I think, by the way, should be key in communicating with him at some point um, to get some information later down the line. But I'm just shocked that the public's not tying him more into tying the crime more closely to the Bundy. Just because it's it's this whole thing is so reminiscent of the Chi Omega bizarre uh, murders with the log where he just went room to room to room. Mm -hmm. A lot of people always uh, felt that Bundy Ted had been doing this because he had asked where the death penalty was. They told him Florida, and that's why he had gone there from Ann Arbor. But so I'm I'm surprised that people are not linking this more to the Ted Bundy crimes. Yeah, uh, and they, particularly the Chi Omega. A situation and also that Bundy had a history of, of working for uh, for law enforcement he actually at one point even saved someone I think someone snatched a purse and he had uh, just like uh, Koberger had helped someone in the, I think a, a nurse or someone with a uh, with CPR or something oh, uh, yeah yeah Bundy That's so right. there's so many links to the to the and Bundy also although he did had a a long relationship with the single mother uh, person, uh, he still uh, was very much uh, 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 never really had uh, too many girlfriends. I mean, he dated here and there, but nothing. He was still an oddball, right? Right. So I just wanted to, uh, I'm just, uh, w what are your thoughts about it? I was just kind of shocked that no one's talking about this more about the Chi Omega thing and yeah, yeah yeah i'd have to look more into like like the similarities like do you know how many people were i guess it doesn't necessarily matter but how many people he killed in the chi omega situation because i knew yeah, I it was think, like the room, uh, the room thing and there was people like sleeping and whatnot similar kind of yeah thing there, there were well uh, yeah there was there was about i think he attacked four i think two died i, I i'm not quite sure in the number but i okay. will say this this is another point i wanted to make yeah the chi omega case was it was they had a witness and the girl just like uh, this situation he the the woman saw him uh, with a with a dark mask on mm -hmm. and uh, he was not identified by having bushy eyebrows he was identified by having a, a sharp nose mm. and she was the key witness in the in the trial that basically that was the lock that was kind of like when, deal, when yeah. you know yeah so it's, it's very similar to this eyewitness yeah yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, even if there's not, I mean, obviously there's some similarities there with the Chi Omega thing, but the whole law enforcement thing is weird. Him studying criminology and then, of course, Bundy. And I think even um, I think Dennis Rader, BTK, had some. I know he was like a scouts guy. He was kind of, I think at one point, yeah. maybe like volunteer law enforcement or something. And so I think yeah. that's why a lot of people have jumped on that. But like. Brian had allegedly like signed up for some internship even I think with Moscow or with Pullman PD years before or a year before and so like yeah the fixation not the fixation but just the ties with law enforcement and then having this happen yeah I think there definitely are some similarities there and it's it's scary to think that someone that like from the outside looking in this guy was probably not on anybody's radar and that yet this this happened is terrifying yeah but. you know and another it's another strange thing about this is it, one could say that he was uh, he failed but he actually didn't fail as far as being some kind of reputable 
a serial murderer because in the end, I think this case is going to drag on. And I think, um, yeah. you know, it, it's going to be really up for grabs as far as, you know, they were, if they don't find that weapon, I mean, this could be another Casey Anthony situation. So it's, it's kind of creepy. It's very scary. Yeah. You know, uh, as far as the, uh, what the system can do with this, uh, because it's so obvious. I think it's so clear that this is the guy. Now it's yeah. kind of like, is he smart enough to keep his cool as he's been doing and just let the system, you know, run its course? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but hey, that's uh, you bring up some good points, and uh, I appreciate you calling in. So we'll just have to see how it yeah, plays thank out. Thank you. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, love your show. Thank you. Appreciate you. See ya.